Good evening and welcome to Omni Bros Live. I am your co-host Omni Dog from Omni Dog's Vault, joined as always on Monday nights by from Near Mint Condition, Omar. Omar, how's it going, buddy? It's going okay, man. Uh, is it always Monday nights? It's it, yeah. I mean, it's more hits than misses, right? Yeah, you're here mostly Monday most, nights. Most of the time, yeah, and sometimes on Thursdays. Sometimes on Thursdays, yeah. Depending on when my girls have Girl Scouts or not. But, uh, yeah, how's everybody doing tonight? Monday, welcome back to work. Right. Everybody's favorite day of the week. And Cr what are we cricket. talking about today? <laughs> what are we talking about today? I was, I was just joining the chat. That's it. What's up? Oh, what are we talking uh, about today? Uh, we're talking about what we've read this past week, what we've hauled, and previews of coming attractions, the comics that are coming out this week in collected edition form, and what the discounts are on InStockTrades.com, where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add another 2% to that. Over $50 in an order gets you free shipping in the United States. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's in socktrades.com. Our sponsor. We love them, right? I just wanted to see how long you would keep going without me stopping you. <laughs> like, where does that song end? <laughs> All right. So let's talk about some previews coming up. This Got a couple. Oh, you want to start with previews? Okay. Uh, I mean, you know, it's sure. your show. How are we going to do this? You, you tell me. What do you want to oh, do? Oh, no. Whatever you say is fine with me. Oh, my God. This is like asking my wife, what do you want to eat? All right. Let's do the <laughs> freaking previews. <laughs> I'm you sure you know eat? what that's like. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let me share my screen. And I'll let you know when you can hit on me. All right. And let me know when you can see my screen. I can see it. Whoop. It's on me, but I, it was there. It is. You see it? Okay, see good. It. Yeah, good, good, good. So, let's look at Image Comics. We've got, you know, I, I really miss these little nine ninety nine dollar uh, try out this new comic book trade paperbacks they used to have. Yeah. Um, because I would try some of these if they were nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Not that three dollars is a lot more for man eaters. Okay, so we got Cold Spots trade paperback. Um. Cyber Force Awakening, Volume 2. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing like the... I don't even know who the creative team behind this is. Matt Hawkins, Brian Hill. Oh, Matt no, Hawkins. You like Matt Hawkins. I like Matt Hawkins and Brian Hill. They're the guys behind uh, the Edenverse Okay, I like so much. Well, maybe they're going to tie this into the Edenverse, but Mark Silvestri, not credited up here, but still on the cover because he created those characters. Um, then we have Man Eaters Volume One, Redneck, another Donny Cates great book. Hopefully, they'll, hopefully they will get a hardcover of that because that dude's name is blowing up. Skyward, you get this right, don't you? Yeah, get this? I'll be you getting like, that. I loved that book. Uh, let's see, Willa Le leaves Chicago. That's where I'm going next month for C2E2. John Henderson and Lee Garbett. Oh, I like Lee Garbett a lot. Um, what it? What is it about the book that you enjoy? Uh, it's a fascinating premise. Uh, most of the gravity on Earth has left, and you have to have these like magnetic boots to uh, stand on the ground, and you learn to float around. And this uh, main uh, girl uh, in it is uh, a badass that uh, has mastered uh, flying around, and she's. Uh, um, her dad had, had invented something that mm -hmm. uh, the main rival, the bad guy in the story, is taking credit for, and she's out to uh, get some, um, not revenge necessarily, but uh, get some credit for her father, and it's just a great story. It's so interesting that, uh, Man, you know, that gravity that sounds really good. Oh, gravity disappears, and, and people are, you know, there's they show this outer space shot that's just full of dead people and cars and everything if you weren't inside when gravity disappeared you just floated up into space it sounds like a book that maddie would make me read 
like uh, oh i bet she'd dig it for if it's got a strong female lead you know mm -hmm. we're doing apparently i don't know if you know this or not but it's a uh, uh, Women's History Month next month, which also ties into my birthday month. That's my birthday month too next I, month. I know, I know. It's so weird, man. So the ladies are choosing a lot of books for old reader, new reader. Oh. So it's, it's been kind of interesting. But I did get to pick my birthday week book, which is the Dark Phoenix saga. I cannot wait to talk about that. By the way, this book right here, Weatherman, yeah. looks – I love that cover. That ho that cover would have hooked me if the book was nine ninety nine. Mm. Um I just like the idea of, I don't know if that's a cat or a wolf paw just uh, aiming. <laughs> let's let's Except, see what the premise is here. Uh, Future's Only Hope has a 0% chance. <laughs> I like it already. <laughs> yeah, you like these ultimate loser guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's accused of carrying out the worst terrorist attack in human history, wiped out an entire population of Earth. Wow, okay. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a uh, well, no, it wasn't his fault, but Arthur Dent. Uh, but is Nathan truly responsible for such horrific crime? Confused, terrified, prepared. Okay, post-apocalyptic hmm. future where he wiped out everybody. Yeah, I dig it. I wonder if it's an all-in-one because oh no, it has volume one, so there's probably more. All right, here it is. There's what everybody's been waiting for that cares. The book that i'm sure most people are going to be i would say tomorrow the, between this and star wars and most people are going to be f5ing at a ist4 yeah um just out of curiosity what do they have it for tomorrow they have it for 42 percent off which is 28.99 28.99 okay good deal good deal um so yes I'd like, that, I'd like to tell people out there do not sleep on this book this book is going to sell out tomorrow. I I think that first printing is going to sell out. I don't think it will go out of print like per se like the Conan books because you know it's 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 going to be it's going to be one of those evergreen books. But it's just going to oh take it a while is. Between, I think it's going to take a while between the first printing and second printing because people like myself have been waiting for a deluxe hardcover of Berserk for years. And if you want to check it out, I've got a what's it called an overview on my channel because I had an advanced copy of that. So it, it's it, it's beautiful. It's uh, couple things are missing, like the color pages from the inside, but I can completely understand. You know, you're paying $50 already for this. I think that would bump the price up, and I'm sure there's some kind of freaking, uh, much like Akira, some kind of copyright thing that they can't redo. So, BPRD Vampire. A lot of people waiting for this, too. This is yeah. a big deal This got reprinted. This is the one by Gabriel Ba, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this was uh, a way let for a long time, commanding high prices. Was this part of uh, any of the hardcovers? No. So is it after the hardcovers then? Because I don't remember this one. Um, it it's uh, it's in between. Okay, it's in between the hardcovers. You're talking about between like uh, 1946. 48 and hell on earth or between plague of frogs because i've i've read plague of frog i've actually read all the way to hell on earth volume two i didn't know where this fit in if anybody in the chat knows please let us know yeah i don't know where it fits in exactly in the mignola verse because i haven't got there yet but i oh, it, forgot to take out my cheat sheet on how to pronounce these names mignola i just assume you would know uh okay so yes back uh, Vampire, second edition. So it's back in print. Fate Zero, which is a manga. Man, three manga this week from Dark Horse. I Am Hero Omnibus, which I need to quit sleeping on and go ahead and get before these go out of print. I think there's going to be a total of 11 Omnis. Uh, but unlike the Marvel Omnis and unlike Berserk, they are not hardcovers. They are sort of soft covers. But that's okay. They're cheaper. They're $19.99. Uh, Stephen McCranny, Space Boy. That looks like something you would read. Space Boy? Yes. Actually, hmm. this looks like something you would read. I've yeah. been wanting to get into Corto Maltese for so long, but I I did not get the first few volumes because forever I waited for that hardcover to come out, and it never did. There's so many of them that I don't know that I can get into them right now. 
Okay. So apparently Matt Miranda saying this BPRD vampire reprint has new content, by the way. It does. It said it had the special from 2018. So Oh, that does say that. Hellboy Winter Special. Yeah, that's a big deal. So go sell your first printing, Jess. <laughs> now, what is this? this is, okay, it's not a Tetronauts. This looks interesting. I like that cover. Yeah, that looks cool. IDW. Only two books from IDW this week. Uh, who recently just got my favorite rabbit, right. Usagi Yojimbo. They got the rights to it. Weird, man. It's been a few decades since they've been a dark horse. Like, I mean, yeah. I've, I've, I have Usagi has been a dark horse for decades. So interesting that they broke up that relationship. Or I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Apparently, they're going to recolor or they're going to color them. I don't know how I feel about that. Mm. Because I like the black and white that mm -hmm. Sakai has. So, you know, lots of people are excited because they're going to do their own collections, which is awesome because these limited edition books are insane. So hopefully IDW will do the right thing and make them in hardcover. Like I said, I don't know how I feel about the recolor or adding color to them. So I don't know. Maybe if Sakai himself oversees that. Moving on to DC. By the way, have I missed any books that are 50% off? Uh, dee, 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 dee. no, not yet. Nope. nope. Uh, well, Man Eaters was fifty percent off. There you go, Man Eaters with the cover price of twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Here I was complaining that no books are nine ninety nine anymore. Um, so Batman Shadow of the Bat Volume Four, collecting Shadow of the Bat thirty two through forty two. I need to start getting these because. Those, those were actually a set of books that I'm like, oh, I'm just going to wait until DC gets to the fifth volume, and then I may jump on. Because they're ridiculous about canceling their things halfway through, or not even like a third of the way through. Uh, Bombshells United, that looks like a Jess book. That's Is it? Jess. Yeah, that's a Jess book. That's a Jess book, okay. Is this another series? Like a spinoff? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Fire, this is the Bendis stuff? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. been collected. I will. I think this is part of the noir uh, omnibus, if I'm not mistaken, originally. And now it's at his own little imprint or a part of DC. Green Lantern by Jeff Johns, book one. Let me look at the. Let's see what this has. Okay, I agree with that. Green Lantern Rebirth, where the story kicks. Up. What the hell? Green Lantern one through three. That's an interesting cutoff point. Okay, I get recharge one through five. But why stop at three? Why not just go to six? Price is pretty decent, though, if you've never read any of this stuff. $24.99. Any chance that's 50% off, Jess? That is 42% off. Okay, okay. 42% off. Let's see. Shazam! Shazam! Formerly known as Captain Marvel. I love Jeff the Jeff cover. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't like movie covers on my comic books. Man. Oh, I, okay. I, I never I get did. it. I get I don't, it. I don't care if it's Sexy Time, what's his name, Jason Momoa, or whomever. <laughs> it, I don't like comic book, like movie covers on my comics. Got it. Uh, but this is a new collection of, I'm sorry, it's the same collection as Justice League Zero, I believe, um, the hardcover. So it's a, just a new printing. It's $12.99, so that's cheap. So it's not a hardcover. With those Jeff Johns little side stories at the end of the Justice League mm. issues. Okay. Unexpected Call of the Unknown. Steve Orlando, your favorite writer. He wrote that Justice League of America that you never read. That I you do made like, me buy. That you never read. Not my fault. I do like the art, though. Big fan of some of these guys, like Carrie Nord. Uh, not even going to bother saying that guy's name. And Scott Hanna <laughs> and Mark Farmer. I do like those. And I can say those guys' names. Uh, one through eight. Issues one through eight. It's a pretty big chunk of issues for 20 bucks. Same cover looks like Omar. No, it does not. I do not blow bubble them. Uh, Deadpool Classics. Moving on to Marvel. Volume 20. Holy crap. Talking about milk that cash cow, man. Deadpool Classics. Volume 23. What the hell does this have? These stories were printing in 2016. How can it be a fucking classic already? Get out of here. With, I'm not even going to look at this shit. Whatever. I mean, if you're getting Deadpool classics, good for you guys. That's awesome. Sorry. I'm not shitting on what you like. What? 
That's just stupid. Infinity War Sleepwalker, which we, we found out there's an Infinity War hardcover coming out, which is a nice little um, follow-up to the Dugan's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, but it doesn't include the crossover events like Darkhawk and Sleepwalker, which makes 90s fans happy. Uh, then we have Iron Fist. Yes, I think I'm going to get this because this is the classic stuff, like when he first appeared, I believe. So it has a lot of deadly hands of Kung Fu. Thirty nine ninety nine. Chris Claremont, Bill Mantlo. Yeah, I think I'm going to get that because I don't see them ever doing an omnibus of that stuff. Marvel Knights Punisher. Mr. And Mrs. X really loved, loved this book. Oh, yeah. But I'm waiting maybe for a thicker collection. Mm. Spider Geddon, waiting on hardcovers. Oh, you are? Yeah. Now, this book, yeah, this is a buy for me. You, you didn't buy the uh, oversized hardcovers? No, I didn't. I was waiting. So I need to actually get what's it called, though? Darth Vader. And I guess maybe uh, Dr. Afra, because I don't. Well, maybe they'll do an omnibus of that if her character just keeps blowing up. But yeah. I, I waited on this because I knew an omnibus was going to come eventually because it's Jason Aaron and it's Star Wars. I mean, come on. Marvel yeah. knows Marvel knows those fanboys are going to double, triple dip. So <laughs> that I waited. I never dipped. So this is my that, first time dipping. That one is 50% off. Ah, cool. So what what is that really quick, math man? 62.50. 62.50 plus tax if you live in some states, but that's okay. Ooh, burn. Yeah, like me. I got to pay tax, so burn on me. This is a reprint. Ooh, this is a of, classic. Yeah, this is a good run. And it's got uh, Ezad Ribic. Love his artwork. Peter Milligan. Um, this is a great <sighs> book. I love this book. This was a good book. Yeah. I don't mind um, this kind of retelling. I think it's done really well. I don't even know what the hell this is. This is, a, I think it was a crossover <laughs> event that they put under something called Typhoid Mary. And we know Typhoid Mary is a daredevil like villain right or yeah. was i think everybody knew except maybe bendis when he wrote her Ooh, burn um because <laughs> it's fever <laughs> but anyway i don't know what the hell she's doing with the x-men I, I don't even i don't even recognize those names oh rb silva okay i guess recognize that but yeah i don't know what that was dynamite barbarella are you picking that up it's like um, got, that's got that cover has you written all over it. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Look at that. Hot I like with Mike Carey. Yeah, Lucifer Omnibus coming out, and yeah, also had I a pretty nice run. That. Had a nice run on X Men Legacy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go back. That's the only book from Dynamite. Uh, Boom Studios has the Steven Universe ongoing trade paperback. I don't know what the hell this is, but I love that. Like homage to Contra, that's awesome. Um, Caliber, oh my god, Caliber's still around! Holy shit, Caliber's a small publishing company that I remember a friend of mine worked at, and that's where I get to meet like, um, what's his name, Quentin Hoover, who ended up drawing magic cards, and uh, David Mack. I don't know if you heard of that guy, and interesting Greg Land, because yeah, uh, Kabuki was at um, Caliber for a long time. Hmm. And I had no idea they were still around. Now, apparently, they got two books this month. Well, shit. Ancient Magus Bride. Yeah, that's a good manga. I need, I'm need. i waiting for hardcover, so. Or bigger collections. Archie 3000 trade paperback. Billy the Bee. Why am I clicking on this? That title. <laughs> that title, man. Why did I click on this? Okay, so Star Wars and uh, what was it? The other book that's fifty percent off. Man uh, Eater. Uh, Weatherman from Image is fifty percent off. Okay. Star Wars. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. X trade paperback is fifty percent off. Okay. A uh, book you, that was not listed, but they have in stock now. This is the Marvel Masterworks Luke Cage Power Man. Hardcover Volume 3, DM Variant, that's 50% off. Yeah, that's been, like, apparently they didn't get enough of it, and yeah, they, they finally got it. it. So, good, uh, good deal. I think that is it for the 50 percenters. Yeah, that awesome. is it for the 50 percenters. 50 percenters, okay. Uh, Faith, 
this is that valiant lady, I believe. Yep. And then we have, what else do we have? I like that cover. Egg cream. Oh, I like that name. I don't know what the hell that means. New is the best solution. It's the offer, including dog dreams, monitor. It looks like uh, maybe a collection of short stories. Yeah, this is the shit like Gabe doesn't click on, so I'm, I'm taking advantage of it because he's not here today. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I hope he's feeling better, though. Uh, Final Fantasy Lost Stranger. What? Oh, God, I'm so out of touch with manga and anime. Um, Inspector, what is Immortal? That doesn't look like a manga or an anime. No, it does not. Falls of a human bounty hunter with the ability to be resurrected when killed in the line of duty. Cool premise. Uh, let's see, mess. And Wings of Fire, and that's it. Unless you want me to click on something else like Torso Bear here. Torso Bear? I don't know. That seems like a just kind of funny character. Uh, you don't know me at all. You liked Howard the Duck, right? What's that? I said you liked Howard the Duck, right? The the newer one by uh, Zadarsky, I did. Oh, you didn't like the Gerber years? I, I didn't dislike it, but it didn't light me up. Didn't light you up. All right, that is it. That is everything that is coming to you this week. Very nice. And yep. before we get to Halls and Reads, Tim V in the chat has... Yes. Uh, kindly um offered to uh let me make sure i got this right tim v you would like to give away a definitive edition of the boys number one is that correct to a random person in the chat is uh answer me in the chat uh tim v do i have that right uh, I can do a random number generator and we can, and Tim V is going to handle this and I will send him. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Tim V is nice enough, contacted me through Instagram to uh, donate uh, because uh, to pay it forward uh, a copy of the definitive edition of the boys volume one. So thank you, Tim V for that. So if you are interested in Receiving a free copy of the definitive edition of the boys number one from Tim V. Uh, send your name, not to the chat, to our Omnibros Live at gmail.com. And I will do a random number generator and get your email and uh, give it to him, and he will send you the book. So, once again, Tim V giving away the boys definitive edition number one to a lucky chat person. Send your name to Omnibros Live at gmail.com. I will do and say in the subject line, the boys, something like that. So I know uh, that you're in in interested in it. And I will do a random number generator and we will I will leave it open for like 10 minutes. Awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter. <laughs> okay, fine. There's I will no take... reason you can't. I'm just kidding. I'm not fucking going to do that. That is really sweet. Thank yeah, you so sorry. much. Yeah, sorry. It's U.S. only. I apologize. But yeah, he's in the U.S. Um, it'd be too uh, expensive. Um, to, yeah, I apologize to all our fabulous international viewers. But yeah, this is U.S. only. Yeah. Um, Wish there was a I... way to cheap thing like ship things so much cheaper overseas you know yeah um okay so we are going to talk about feelings now <laughs> you know i don't talk about those jess did you watch the oscars uh, i did not i went to bed of course you did you're an, you're an old man you went to bed at five what are you doing still up it's past your bedtime anyway it's past my bedtime so the Oscars were uh, fun. Like um, Amanda always hosts a little Oscar party, and we, you know, we do little games and stuff. Always makes it fun. It's not about the Oscars, but what was cool though was seeing two Marvel's uh, Cinematic Universe movies win Oscars. Like I never thought 
I remember when Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King won 11 Oscars, right? It was such a huge deal. Like, because mm-hmm. as, as a geek, you're like, yes, they finally see the potential of these things. But I never thought that a comic book movie would get any kind of, you know, award, especially when we, we've gone, uh, what I thought, past the, uh, you know, the Tim Burton and the Christopher Nolan kind of movies. So it was really cool. I mean, you know, not best picture or anything, but really cool. One thing, though, I, I kind of wish that Stan Lee and, like, uh, Jack Kirby and uh, uh, Steve Ditko were still around to see that, especially, like, Spider-Man and Black Panther. And that was that, – that's kind of wicked. What did, but, they, what did Black Panther uh, win for? Uh, best set design? Mm-hmm. It won three Oscars. It's like three? Best, yeah. Best set design, best costumes, and best sound mix, I think. Something like that. That's really cool that it and, was up for that many Oscars. It was up for best picture, dude. I know. That's crazy. I know. It's I up know there that. with things like The Favorite and all that stuff. Yeah. But the big, but the big one, man. Best animated feature went to Spider Verse. Uh, that was awesome. Nothing else could have won. That had you to won. Don't know that. You don't know that. You I do know seen, that. I saw it. You haven't seen Mirai? Could have huh? been better. Mirai, the Japanese movie that was up for an Oscar. It's an anime. I Cartoons made it. in Japan. Uh, uh, Mamuro, the guy that makes it, it's, does amazing things. I haven't seen it yet either. Um, <laughs> But, but it, but it was, you know, it's one of those choices because you don't hardly see that. The last time that's happened was Spirited Away, and that was good lord, two thousand and two, two thousand and three. Hmm. Yeah, so it's been quite a few years since an animated an anime movie has been there. But anyway, uh, let's talk about what you want to talk about: halls and reads. So let's do halls. You you have halls, I assume, because I have one book. I my haul was light this week, very light this week. I only hauled one thing, and no one's gonna care about it but me. I got it from the damaged section. Uh, wait, <laughs> here it is. I got it from the damaged section of IST. Um, uh, the uh, they had a. I don't know, 3% off sale and uh, and damaged, had extra percentage off. Justice League, Silver Age, Volume 2. It actually does have a tiny bit of damage. If you can see, mm-hmm. there's a little ding here. Yeah. So it you does get, have damage. You going to try uh, to return that? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't care. That was worth the savings, and I'm quite happy about it. That's Thank you, all Freddy. I hold. It was original all score. I this week. Uh, yes. Thank you. A uh, couple people in the chat correcting me. It was original score, too. That's what Black Panther was. It was for. what? Original score. It wasn't sound uh, mixing or editing. Bohemian Rhapsody won both of those. So... Uh, the movies we were talking about, the Oscars. You still with me, Jess? Huh? Yeah. You're actually you're cutting in and out. Am I? Yeah. Hmm. Odd. I'm having trouble following you a little bit. Okay, I just thought you were heavily medicated. You should have said something earlier. Well, I am always heavily medicated, but you're still cutting in and out a little bit. Okay. Uh, Jess, did you finish and reading Ben? Now Alba? you're frozen. Frozen? I can hear you just fine. Now you are utterly frozen. That's not good. Hmm. And now I've lost you. I have no internet. This is our IT on the other side of me. Hmm. Interesting. Omar, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm are sitting you here talking. Trying to sabotage Omni Bros. No, man. I'm talking to you. Jess, maybe it's your internet? Like, it's, not, it's not my internet. I did a speed test right before I came on tonight. I'm a right, maximum right. output. Calm your titties. First of all, doing a fucking speed test does not make you a goddamn IT wizard, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying everything's fine on my end. Okay. Well, you can't see me still? No. Okay, Now, I, when I see you, you're frozen. Weird. Okay. I can hear you and see you just fine. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh-oh. Huh. Well, what's the matter? 
The uh, I'm looking at the um, broadcast, and the broadcast looks kind of funky. The broadcast? What do you mean? Jess, you still with me? Went, oh boy, I went from our hangout to the to what's actually on the YouTube channel. Uh, Interesting. I can hear you better now. Okay, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just how you're coming into me. What's the audience think? Audience, are are we coming through okay? Yeah. Uh, what no, did I, you What did you just do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I hear Omar, but don't see him. It's you, Jess. I can hear Omar. Sound is fine. Now I don't see him. Omar is perfect for us. I hear both of you. Jess, I think your picture is blurry. I can hear him. Jess's internet is getting littered. Oh, <laughs> uh, brother. The audio changed to mono, though. So, um, I don't know. Uh, okay, that whatever. That was really weird. Uh, sounds better than usual because we're mono instead of fucking stereo. Apparently, <laughs> nobody likes to hear us in stereo. <laughs> you were getting a little pixelated, but I think it's fine now, or it looks better now. I don't know. I don't know what happened, man. Huh. Okay. <laughs> what did you haul? Well, can okay, you see me? Jess? Can you hear me? Mother of God. <laughs> Well, if anybody can hear me and see me, I hauled this wonderful book. I all see is Jess's smiling face. I, I don't know if he can see or hear me. Um, but this is what I hauled. This is Urusei Yatsura, those obnoxious aliens. Okay, so nobody can see me. Can you all hear me? Jess is frozen. I'm, gosh darn it. The little thing up there on Google Hangouts keeps blinking on and off. I don't know what's going on. Mm, I don't see that on my end, but I, I can see you. So it says the screen is frozen on Jess. I send the message of birds. All I see is Jess, then the logo, no Omar, and I come here for Omar. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Uh, Omar's back, Rick Nelson. Thank you. Omar never left, Rick. It was just Jess's internet. So I hauled this, Urusei Yatsura, which is one of my favorite manga of all time. It was $9.99 for 400 pages of amazingness. Um, here's $2 to put towards the Omni Bros tech intern. Wait, that's me. I'm the tech intern. Jess, can you hear me? Because you're not interacting with me at all. You're just like looking off into space, buddy. Yeah, I'm just not. Uh, I'm I'm not uh, hearing hearing you properly at all. So just keep talking, and uh, and I will uh, do what I can. Well, remember you can sign in and out. You know that, and this and the and the stream will continue. Uh, fuck, I don't even know if you can hear me because now you're frozen on me. I really. Yeah, you can sign like in and out. You can restart your computer, whatever. The stream will continue. Jess is gone. There he is. <laughs> I, is. See, I'm not even getting any of that. You're not getting the chat, what they're talking no, about? No, I'm not getting the chat. Huh, okay. This is like when you talk for 10 minutes and then realize the person is still longer on the line. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know what's, what's going on, man. Jess's connection is Silver Age. <laughs> 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 okay, restart your computer as your IT guy. Restart your computer. I'll be fine. Me, do you want me to um, restart your router? I, restart I don't know. my router? Uh, that, I think that will take too long. Uh, <laughs> I can't even hear you, what you're saying. <laughs> uh, do you want me to? Do you want me to hit the button that says "Stop broadcast" and restart? No, my router? no, no, no! Don't, don't, don't hit "Stop broadcast." Okay. Re just restart your computer first. Let's see if that helps. Okay. It. I'll go restart my router. Okay. Nope. I didn't say that. I said uh, computer. What? I didn't say router. I said computer. I'm going to text you. I'm going to text you. Can you hear that? Do I now? Oh, my God. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> a 
sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault, man. It's, things happen. <laughs> it's the most fucked up episode of Hello. Omni Pros I've ever been on. Uh, let's see. Can we restart your computer is what I was saying. Yeah, can somebody capture this, please, and and uh, <laughs> and make a video called uh, "IT Guy Tries to Help Old Guy with a Live Stream." <laughs> okay, I'm gonna restart my computer. Don't stop the broadcast or anything. I won't. Okay, I'll be here. I promise. When you get back. All right. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> 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 oh damn! All right. Uh, let me, you got it restarted, right? Are you restarting it? All right, cool. Waiting for people to join this call, but I'm still live, I believe. Everybody in the chat, can you all still see me? Is that cool until Jess gets back, right? Maybe. Uh, okay, cool. I can go seek, stay on the phone during the reset. <laughs> yeah, don't hang up, Jess. <laughs> okay. Don't hang up. Uh, what's funny is like, this is what it's like when I have to talk through somebody for an interview. Because, you know, we've interviewed uh, Eric Larson and Ron Mars and Fabian Nisiesa. And I've had to call them like and be on the phone with them for like 30 to 45 minutes just to sometimes get them to download Google Chrome to get Google Hangouts to work. It's quite amazing. It's quite amazing. Um, Paul EP, yeah, talk about a bad time to join. It's just me, so if you can't stand me, now's the time to leave. But don't hit this like because Jess is coming back. <laughs> Rick Nelson said, I bet Omni Dog's wife pulled a cord on the router. <laughs> she needs Jess upstairs cleaning the dishes. Uh, yeah, I would be like the kid, I think we were the right age. I would be the kid that like helps you set the clock on the VCR. And you're the old neighbor <laughs> that that lets me play Nintendo at his house. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Omar was clean shaven when this started. <laughs> no, I was not. <laughs> uh, okay, so if you guys can see me, this is what I hauled. This is Urusi Atsura. It is one of my favorite manga. It is Rumiko Takahashi. I was going to do an overview here in the next day or two, comparing it to the original release, which came out, holy fucking shit, years ago. Probably over 20 years ago. Uh, remarkably, both are $19.99. That's how much I paid for the original version that I bought off of Viz's table. It was one of the first printed books that they had on their table at a convention I went to. So uh, look for that on my channel. Actually, if you're bored of this right now, just go to Near Mint Condition and go check out some of our videos that we have. We don't have any problems like this ever. Go ahead. What? You still on the phone, Jess? Google, okay. Yeah, wait a sec. Google Hangouts disappeared, so should I go back? Go back to the again? Go back to that Facebook message and go through that link. Okay. Sorry. Tosi can pronounce. Yeah, it's amazing, Freddy Alfonso Gonzalez, how I can pronounce some names, but I can't pronounce Lane Wayne. And by the way, that's been like over 30 years since I've been pronouncing it that way, which makes it even worse because I met the man twice and he never corrected me. <laughs> you still with me, Jess? Yep. All right, man. I'm going to sign in now. Okay. You let me know when you're on there. Yeah. I did the wrong thing. We need more, we, we need more like uh, buttons hit, though, uh, for Jess to come back. <laughs> That's how we get Jess back. And all of a sudden, we got 75 likes and only 70 people watching. How the fuck is this happening? Um, thank you, Chris. It, it's worth it, man. It's amazing. It's amazing. Berserk is great. Been waiting for that kind of format for years. Drive a mind while and take the second ride onto Near Me Condition Road. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to pimp the shit out of my show until you're here, dude. Where are you? There you are. Does, do I look any better? Mm, you're still a little pixelated, but I can see you. Can people see? Can you all see Jess in the chat? I know it's like a few second delay here, but let's see. Can anybody see Jess? Yeah, I think I think they can see you. <laughs> right? Yes, people can see you. But you got to talk for them to see you, Jess. Okay. Hi. How's it going? I'm gonna hang up the phone because I got you here now. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes, just as like my grandfather, Dave. I have to keep him on the phone to make sure that he is doesn't freak out here. So we got Jess back. See what happens okay. when you hit enough likes. What the hell did you haul again <laughs> that broke the internet? <laughs> Silver okay. Age book. Silver Age book. Yeah, that Silver Age dinged up book. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Was there uh, anything else you hauled? Uh, no. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. All right. What I did read you, a lot. I saw your video on TKO, man. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did. I read uh, all four TKO books. One. Uh, my favorite one was. Uh, I forgot to order it. Um. Uh, on a for a trade and i um got it digitally and that was uh uh dr fang which was fantastic also i read sarah which was garth oh. ennis his book on a soviet uh elite corps of female snipers world war ii um against uh, the germans this was unbelievably great um, with an all-star lineup, Steve Epting art, Elizabeth Brettweiser coloring. It was crazy great. Um, I, I can't say enough about this book. Uh, it was wonderful. And Seven Deadly Sins was also really good from TKO. And Goodnight Paradise by Joshua Dysart. About a uh, homeless alcoholic finds a body in a dumpster, and he seems to be the only one interested in solving the mystery. And it leads him into a web of conspiracy um, that is uh, set on Venice Beach, pitting him against millionaire, billionaire developers. And it is extremely good. Uh, but Dr. Fang was uh, the fearsome Dr. Fang was my favorite book which I don't have with me because it's on my iPad upstairs. Um, and uh, I also read Mr. Miracle, which uh, lived up to its hype, in my opinion. I thought this, I'm going to do a video on it, so I don't want to give away too much of my opinion. Don't want to shoot my wad here, but I thought it was excellent. And a, a fantastic psychological examination of uh, Scott Free and Big Barda, their marriage, and what his life was like. It starts out with him trying to commit suicide, which was uh, shocking. And I thought it was remarkable. Would you say it's better than Vision? Uh, no. You enjoyed Vision more? Uh, I I would say, yeah, no, it did not top Vision. Okay, my, it, that's just my opinion. I but, thought it was excellent. I would recommend it to anybody. Um, but I I I don't think I think Vision's one of my favorite books ever. So I I don't I've I've reread Vision six or seven times. Um, but Mr. Miracle is top notch. I would highly recommend it to anybody, but no, I don't think it surpasses Vision. It's well, I know my we'll personal be, opinion. We're going to be reviewing it here on the channel. I will tell you one of my spoiler things that I do not like about it is this um, giant sticker thing that's not a sticker. Oh, part of the book. I hate when <laughs> books do that. Small gripe. I know it's an Iser winner. That's cool. You can put it in the back, don't need it in the front. I get it. Or if you put it in the front, Make a sticker out of it so I can peel it off. First world problems, baby. First world problems. I um, get it. You're in HD now, man. Oh, right Good on. on. You. By the way, somebody made a star uh, Spaceballs reference earlier. <laughs> Where was it? It was hilarious. Just restarted his computer and went play. <laughs> uh, anyway, what? Uh, so the TKO books. Let me ask you something. When you buy them, do you get physical copies of them? And digital copies, or do you have the option to get just digital you or just the, physical? You have the option to get three three different things. You have the option to get these oversized collected editions. You have the option to get the six singles in a collector's case, 
and or you have the option to get them digitally. And yeah. I just flaked and forgot to get Fearsome Dr. Fang and I just forgot to get it. And so when these three came in, I bought it digitally and read it that way. Uh, so you can get it three different ways and it was free shipping for these books. And I, th I think that is, a I think we should get TKO on the show and interview uh, them because I think that's a remarkable business model to put out books like that collected edition floppies and digital you've got everybody covered that way um you've got every comic collector covered that way the the digital um is actually cheaper than the physical um but everybody's covered that way and everybody's happy and they it is a quality product these are nice big oversized books with great coloring and, and, you know, a really quality product and they were not expensive. I was really happy with how, how much were, books. How much are you talking about per, per book? Uh, let me, I'll tell you right quick, just sec. Well, you don't have to get out your order form, man, but if you're doing that, go ahead and give me your credit card number, social security, Shut blood up. type, blood type. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's a it's a cool model. I, so these are only available through their website right now. Comic book stores, no. Correct. Right? And you can read the first issue free of each one of these off of their website. Um, thirteen ninety nine for digital, twenty four ninety nine for the print issues, all six issues in a collector's box, or seventeen ninety nine for the paperbacks. Seventeen ninety nine. That's not bad. No, and it's from tkopresents.com is their website. Um, now, if there was only one more thing they could do, make an omnibus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> make me a hardcover. Make Jess double dip because he likes Sarah so much. Because that's the one I was, I I was looking at when you were doing your review. I mean, you had me at, you know, the creative team anyway. But that one. Oh piqued, yeah, piqued my interest the most. I think that's probably the slam dunk that everybody's going to want to get. Um, but Fearsome Dr. Fang, I just had a blast reading. It was such a pulpy adventure that was so exciting. And uh, Maddie would like it because it features a strong female lead in it that uh, <laughs> takes no prisoners and kicks ass. So Okay. Apparently... Um, according to somebody who was it in the chat, I want to give the right thing. Uh, Chase Chu, the author of Dr. Fang is also part owner. By the way, I did hit them up like two months ago before these books were even coming out. Oh, you uh, did? Yeah, but I haven't heard a reply back yet. Um, that author also wrote Seven Deadly Sins. The manga? He's, he's the pub. No, the publisher. <laughs> I meant the manga Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, that's a reference lost on me. I don't know any manga. There's a manga called, oh my God, you don't know any manga. Never mind. Never mind. We need to have an all manga show for you, Jess, and have you in it. Oh, Chase Chu says his LCS has them. Okay, great. Oh, so, so, so some, well, I wonder if they get any kind of discount being a local comic book store. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I just ordered them through the website. I didn't know they were available at comic shops. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Well, I wish them luck because, you know, I like different little companies. Just uh, when I, Amanda and I did a little hunting uh, video, and I ran across some cross-gen books, the little miniature ones, the digest size ones, the tray paperbacks. And it made me miss those uh, cross-gen years because I really liked the talent going into cross-gen. Sadly that all fell apart and they had a really good business, you know, for what, a couple of years invited all these artists and famous writers and then offered them insurance. And apparently the business went bankrupt without telling anybody else. But anyway, that's not a cross gen episode. I just miss little companies like that. So I like when new companies build up and they started off with a bang, man, they got some create, like some creative Kings in there. Hmm. The uh, TKO. I mean, yeah. So pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm I'm hoping to see more projects from them. Yeah, they've uh, got some nice stuff in the pipeline too. A Jeff Lemire book too. 
Uh, uh, and then I read all five Gotham Academies. Wow, you did some major reading, brother. I did. I was on a roll. Gotham Academy. I, I loved this book. This I I think this could be considered uh, a manga. No, it's <laughs> much more interesting than that. Oh, you go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's got um, it's it's um got fun art and it's set Gotham Academy. Uh, you never really see him go to class. It's more like Batman Scooby Doo. Batman barely makes an appearance, but um, a couple of Robins make an appearance and there's a uh, kind of a gang that forms to solve mysteries. And there's all kinds of spooky stuff that happens and some Batman villains appear and there's secret passageways and, um, uh, ancient history that happens involving um, uh, old uh, um, families, the families that built Gotham, the Cobblepots and the Waynes, and it goes all the way back and uh, dealing with this uh, girl, Sil Olive Silverlock. And um, I don't, it, it was so much fun. I Gabe was right. I really like this book a lot, and I you highly recommend it to anybody. Yeah, I've been wanting to read those for a long time. Um, the premise reminds me a little bit of uh, Avengers Academy. Oh, okay, have, I haven't read, yeah, that. read that. And that's really good. I, that's something I think you will also enjoy. Um, in Cal, it's a good question. Jess and I are going to do an episode on his channel about humanoid books, and we can talk about the In Cal in that episode. I need to read that again. I read it uh, four years ago, and it was fairly complex so i need to read it again oh was it you should you just say it was too smart for you maybe is that what you just admitted to is that what you said hey you're cutting out on me again <laughs> did you say something stupid or what <laughs> it must be your shitty internet <laughs> i did not say it's too smart for you me somebody <laughs> it's not too smart uh Incal is is it's one of those books that gets hyped up a lot um, I, I read it uh, probably about eight years ago, and then again about f uh, four years ago. And people like just love this book. It's a European book, or it's French, right? Mobius and uh, Jodorowsky. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's crazy Blade Runner kind of maybe mixed with a lot of sci-fi Dune elements. <laughs> The art is completely gorgeous, and the whole reason I bought the huge hardcover, that's the book that um, he's talking about, is because of Mobius' artwork, because it's oversized, and it's it's wonderful. And that book has been out of print. I believe Jess owns a lot of the – don't you own the coffee uh, – coffee tape? The coffee yeah, I own, I own a lot of the bigger uh, – the big giant books. Yeah, so I think that's the way his art is meant to be uh, mm -hmm. owned because – if. It's yeah. Uh, the story itself is like Jess says, it is a little complex. And I think a second and third read through, I really enjoyed it more. Um, somebody suggested reading that for old reader, new reader. And I, I'd like to, it'd be interesting because we've done manga and we've done a lot of American superheroes and independent comics. Um, so maybe we'll do that here in a couple months. Like, cause it is European. So it's, 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 it's definitely a different tone. Mm -hmm. When you when you read those kind of books, right? Not that I I enjoy them just as much, but yeah, it's a different. It's definitely a different tone than reading an American comic or a manga, for that matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jodorowsky almost made that Dune movie. There's a whole documentary about it. Kind of sad. I would have loved to have seen what he would uh, would have come, but uh, yeah, in Cal. Uh, let's see. Well, there was something else in here. Here's a question for both of us, uh, Jess. Would you rather read uh, American comics or manga for the rest of your life? Uh, pretty sure you know my answer to that. <laughs> I do. I do know that. <laughs> You're American all the way, man. That's a hard choice because they're so they're they're so different. Um. Oh, I, I guess I would have to go with American comics just because. That that was my childhood. Ah, I hate saying that because some of my favorite books are manga, though. Damn, that's tough. But I guess American. Um, 
I I haven't read DMZ. I've only well, no, I take it back, Jimmy Owens. I read the first volume of the trade paperback, and I really didn't dig it. But people seem to love it. It's Brian Wood's book, right? I think it is. Do you own that, Jess? Do you own the DMZ books? Yeah, I do. I read it. it I, I liked it a lot. I thought it was. Did you? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was. Uh, I I really enjoyed it. I'm counting. I'm in our email now, counting up the people that uh, I'm going to do the uh, the boys oh, the giveaway. giveaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do that, man. Okay. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> All right, Did Joe, see Joe, Chip? Joe Chip went to the, he, he went to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. Oh, Joe Chip. Uh, okay, I may keep reading it then if you liked it. Ah, oh, shit, and I fucking passed up on the hardcovers. Maybe I can find them again because I know some of them are out of print. Uh, Jess and Omar, are you guys ready for the summer movies? Hell yeah! What movies are you guys looking forward to the most? Uh, it's a little independent flick called Avengers Endgame. Really looking forward to that. I don't know how well it will do at the box office, though. 15. Yeah, yesterday. I'm looking forward to that. The world where the Beatles didn't exist. They got movie looks awesome. Um, what else is coming out this summer? Amanda and I do this on Reels talk for our show where we talk about movies coming out. We haven't done summer though. Oh hell, wait! Avengers isn't even summer; it's it's spring. Never mind. Shit. Avengers fan, My Hero Academia. Yeah, I dig it. It's the most probably one of the most American uh, manga I've read. A lot of I, I also said the same thing about Scryd though, because a lot of the characters remind me of American superheroes. But I dig it. It's really good. I've only read the first five volumes. My friends are in love with it. I know Riley is one of those guys that loves it too. Okay, the winner is G. Scott. G. Scott. G. Scott from the chat. You are the winner of the boys definitive definitive edition one. G. Scott 1847. You are the winner and I will have Tim V. I will send your email. Uh, wait, well, let me make sure I've got your email. Uh, you did not send me your email, uh, G. Scott. Send me your email so he can. Um, well, I guess I can just send him your address. I'll send him your address. How did he yeah. enter the contest if he didn't send you your email? I thought you said you were reading the emails. I am, but I don't see his. Uh... Well, to to uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but to write an email, you have to have uh, an email. Don't worry about it. I've got his email. I mean, I've got his mailing address, and that's what counts. Okay, okay. I wasn't correcting you. I was just wondering where what happened here. Uh, nothing. Everything's right. fine. I've got everything. G Scott, you won. I'll give your information to Tim V, and you are the big winner. Yeah, I, I got everything fine. Everything's fine. It's it's all working out fine. Except everything's fine. Your internet. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> we only gave away one thing, man. It wasn't that bad. We just lost track of your internet. That was like 10 minutes of the show, and people still tuned in for some reason. <laughs> I think it was like watching a car crash. They wanted to see the fucking bodies and blood, how big of a mess you were going to make, or how big of a fool I was going to be while I was left by myself. Uh, yeah, it all worked out though. It did. It did. Look, we got more likes than uh, most Monday. <laughs> <laughs> people, people loved watching me restart my computer. That's, That's all it takes. I'll do that every show. Yeah, just plug IST every once in a while. <laughs> you can do your own thing, man. That'd be wonderful. Indeed, my dial-up is working now. <laughs> Pour root beer on your modem. Cruel, cruel. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about tonight, man? Or was that it? Uh, oh, wait. I've been talking about my reads. I read yeah, this. Yeah, what you read? What's I've been reading, I have been reading Justice League, uh, the Injustice League, because this is our book we are talking about tomorrow on Old Reader, New Reader. It's Dwayne McDuffie's book. Very underrated. I don't hear this book get talked about enough, and it's one of my favorite Justice League stories. So, And I also started on... 
Mr. Miracle. And really digging it so far. But that is all I have read. Oh, I read some Hulk, but yeah. So yes, that's all I've read. That's it. Now nice. you can end, now you can end the show. Uh, I will uh, end the show by promoting InStockTrades.com, where you can get your internet connections for up to fifty percent off. I mean, uh, your collected editions for up to fifty percent off. Loyalty discounts add two percent to that. Or over fifty dollars in an order gets you free shipping in the United States. Fabulous service, fabulous packaging. That's in stocktrades.com. Perfect, perfect. Couldn't have ended the show on a higher note. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so thank you, everybody, for watching. This was a lot of fun. Um, hopefully, Gabe will feel better. And don't forget to go to IST tomorrow. Crash their website for Berserk. Um, have a backup copy just in case somewhere <laughs> reserved for you. Yeah, don't sleep on that. If you really want it, get yeah. it first thing. I know. I think Amazon has delayed it again. I think Amazon orders aren't going to go out until the um, middle of March, I believe. Mm. I don't know what they're thinking. So maybe they know something we don't. But anyway, this was Omni Bros. And where can they find you, Omar, on the internet and tomorrow night and stuff? Tomorrow night, I do a live show at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time called Old Reader, New Reader. And you can find me on my channel on YouTube called Near Mint Condition. So, hope to see you there. And what about you, Omni Dog? You can find me on my show on YouTube, Omni Dog's Vault, and on Instagram, Omni Dog's underscore Vault. And that's it for tonight. Thank you to the chat for mercilessly ribbing me making fun of me and deservedly so i'm sorry my internet connection sucked so it, bad it worked out it worked out look it worked, it out. worked out for the benefit of the show it did as it wouldn't have been wouldn't have been as funny or as good if that had not happened you know right as long as the show benefits i'm fine that's right that's right all okay, right. I'm going to go cry myself to sleep now. Oh, you're not. And we'll uh, talk to you guys later. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>